Okay, well, we definitely have a popular answer. Now, how do we do this? Let's remember that the, uh, this vector equation really tells us a lot about the components of these two vectors. It tells us the x component of the force vector is equal to the charge times the x component of the e vector. The, x, the y component it is equal to the charge times the y component and the z times the z. Well, the charge is not 0. And that certainly tells us that the x and z components of the electric field must be 0, right? So we've only got a y component. The force on a proton was in the negative y direction. So that, what does that say about the direction of the electric field? Negative. OK, so it better have a negative y component. It better have 0 x and z components. And there's actually only two possible answers. Uh, this one, you forgot to take into effect the fact that there's this, this, this q here, right? So you have to divide by q. And so I believe that for is the right answer. We have negative 4.8 times 10 to the minus 16 divided by positive 1.9 times 10 to the minus 19th, and we get a negative 3 times 10 to the third newtons per coulomb. Okay?